Hey guys, my name is Isam Esper. I'm from the support team for Electro Industries. Today we will talk about how you can download the ICD CID files for the IEC 61850 and then how you can modify that and upload them back to the meter. So I will start with how you can download the file. I will go to our website, which is electroind.com. And on the website, you can tap at the support. And from there, you can choose downloads. At the downloads page, please choose the Nexus meters from the product models here on the left. So the second one is Nexus meters. And the first one is the Nexus 1500 plus and this is what we are going to talk about. So you can see, you can find here all the documents for this model, and we are looking for the IEC 61850 files, which is here. So I will right click on the CID, save link as, and I will save it on my desktop here. And the same we can do for the ICD file also. Right click, save link as, so now I got two files, one is ICD and one is CID. So to upload the file back to the meter, we can do that through the web page also. So I will type the IP address of my meter, which is 10.0.0.15. Then I will go to Tools and hit IEC 61850 SCL upgrade. So from here, I have supposed to be choosing the file and update that. So before using that file and update it, I should match the IP address of the file with the IP address of the meter. So I will right click on the CID file. Just wanna make sure that this is the this is the ICD, so I'll choose the other one and hit edit with notepad plus plus. So make sure you have this software. On this one here, I will go to the IP address. So it will start with the MXL version. So you can scroll down and find the IP. So the default IP address is 10.0.0.1. And this is the default IP address for the Nexus 1500 plus. But my meter is, um, or my meter's IP address is 10.0.0.15. So I will change this to the same 10.0.0.15. I will hit save and I can close this. Then I will go back to that web page here, choose the file, and I will pick up the CID file as you can see from here. Hit open and hit update SCL file. So I will get this message saying the IEC 61850.CID file update successful. And now I will hit reset meter, which is basically it's a software rebooting. So the meter would take just a minute or less for rebooting. So if I go back to the home page here on the web page, it's just uh, rebooting now. So once it's done here, 
I will go back to the home page and go to diagnostic and from here I will choose the last option which is IEC 61850 so I can see that server successfully initialized so that means everything is fine so one more thing about uploading the ICD CID file there is an option on the meter that we have to make sure it's enabled and to do that we need to go and use the software it's called communicator ext which is here so this software you can get it from our website also let me show you how to go and do that so if you go to the home page again and support downloads from the product models here go to software downloads and this is the software it's called communicator ext application 4.0 so you can hit the download shower version from here and then you will get this form you just need to submit the form and hit submit and the setup file will start downloading so when you get that setup file download you can install the software and you will get the communicator ext shortcut on the desktop so i will connect to the meter using this icon here and because i'm connected through the ethernet port so i will choose network here not serial the device address should be one and the host is the ip address for the meter which is 10.0.0.15 the network port by default is 502 and the protocol is Modbus TCP because we are connected through the Ethernet. I will hit connect. So once we are connected, we got the device status window pop up here. The device status window will show you the name of the meter, which can be changed, the model, the serial number, and on the right side, you can see the firmware version. I will hit OK to close this window. Then I will go to the profile, which is here, the first icon on the left. So I will get the device profile opened under the general settings, communications, and it's one window for all these ports, so I can double click on any one of them. And I will get the communication settings window like this. So the settings or the function I have to enable is on the ethernet port. So I will hit advanced settings. And I will get this window here. And as you can see that IEC 61850 is enabled here at my meter. So if it was disabled, you just have to change this to enabled, hit OK, and hit OK again here. And to make sure that this function is enabled, you have to update the new settings to the meter. So you hit update device. So that's all how you can download and upload the ICD CID files for the Nexus 1500 Plus. Thank you for watching.